All right, are you ready? Ladies and gentlemen, I have a special guest. Special guest, enter the car. What? Special guest. Oh, I can't hear anything. I'm like, ladies and gentlemen, I have a special guest. And I just sat here by myself. And I'm like, special guest. Oh, that was on my face, huh? No, no, no. It hit me in the face. <laughs> da, 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 Time. Ladies and gentlemen, how are y'all doing? It's only been 500 years. I have a beard now. I don't even have a beard. You shaved it. The last time that I uploaded a video, I had a beard. <gasps> and a mustache. Not even, not even a beard. It was a and poor excuse for a beard. It was I just hair. I honestly didn't even recognize you. I was like, what is happening? Yeah, that was quarantine. That was the dark days. Yeah, the quarantine beard. Me not caring. I'm just like, sitting in, in the house, rotting away hey. by myself. Just, ah. <laughs> hair growing in everywhere. I know. But they know that we hadn't been together for a year. And now we're back, baby. You know what? It honestly doesn't even feel like it happened. It's like... No, no, it feels like it happened. Maybe not for you. Maybe because time went by really fast for you. Where is this bug coming from? Get that bug! You know, doesn't it just feel like we're just back, you know? Like nothing happened. We just skipped a year. Yeah, now it feels like that. Right? You don't even remember it anymore. I remember it. No, you don't. I remember it. No, you don't. Really slow, quiet... You had fun. Dark day. Writing in my journal daily. No, you didn't. For 365 days and journaling all of my emotions. I had a FaceTime boyfriend that day. Yeah, we had a FaceTime relationship. We did it. That's something yeah. to be proud of. I'm proud of it. We can tell our kids one day. I literally think about that all the time. Back when me and your mother. No, we're not going to have accents. No, that's old. That's me being old. Oh, okay. Well, we're not going to be that old when we tell these stories, but just in. No. Back when me and your we're mother. We're going to be young and cool. We were 20. How oh, we were 20. The memory is gone. And we yeah. were in the middle of a pandemic. Oh my gosh, it's gonna sound so dramatic in the future. But it's gonna be like, okay, well, we all just were here. It's one of the stories that like we've been told from our like elder, elder, uh, my nana telling me stories back when she was in Italy because they were like alive during the war. I know, like, and they that were getting they were getting even. bombed and like would have to run from like shelter to shelter to like survive because different parts of Italy were like under. I don't remember what it the whole war was, but fake. yeah, I'm like you lived. It sounds like in a book. Middle of a war, Jesus. But we're back, baby. And stronger than ever. <laughs> Should we get a coffee? Only if we redeem the points and get it for okay, free. Okay, I'll redeem the points. I have so many points on my app now. Mm. And just like that, we're in Starbucks drive through Oh my god. Hi folks, what can we get started for you? Hi, do you guys have the cheese and fruit protein box? Unfortunately, we're actually out right now. No! Okay, I'll do the chickpea bites and avocado protein box. And then can I get a grande ice black coffee? Um, can I get a tall iced coffee? Can I get it made with 2% milk? Yes. And just one pump of the classic sweetener. Anything else? You see how much more complicated that order is? What do you mean? You had her searching for a million boxes. No, no, no. They just, they were out of the box. They were out of the boxes. But my order was simple. Can I get the frappolato? Pumpkin spice latte. You didn't say any of that. All the milk, half froth, with 2%. You should with be. With classic sweetener. And minus the coffee. You should be asking for half the amount of that sweetener. They don't give me sweetener when you get ice black. Yes, it comes with it. How ask, much you want to make a bet? Ask her how many pumps of classic sweetener is in that grande. How much you want to make a bet right now? I will bet you $10. You wish. Five. It, how many pumps of classic sweetener come in the regular grande? Or is there none? So it doesn't come with any automatically, um, but for a grande it's... You just won me five dollars. I told you! No! She was like, it comes with classic sweetener. No. Oh! Five dollars! Oh no! Five dollars, thank you. No, no. Cheers, baby! Taste that right now and tell me that's not the best coffee you've ever tasted. Let's see. Just classic, iced black. I would not order it like that. And you know what my grandfather used to say to me? It's not coffee unless it's black. No, that's not, no, that's <laughs> what not what he said. Because I, whenever he used to add sugar and creamer and milk and all that stuff to it, he'd be like, what is all this shit? No. And then they say you don't like the taste of coffee. You don't actually like coffee if you drink it like that because yeah, that's that not coffee. That that's milk and sugar. That doesn't mean you should And shouldn't. a little bit of coffee. This right here, just straight coffee. Yeah, but you know it's I, a little bit of like a... Uh, you wouldn't drink the whole thing. And you don't. This is the thing about Christian. I drink he the whole orders thing. a grande, I have no idea why, drinks this much, then leaves it in the cup holder for the rest of the day. That not, that's not true. Watch, and I'll then drink it. I take your iced coffee, bring it home, add some milk, and just take over. That's not true. And you're ruining my coffee with your milk. Guys, so a, a couple big announcements here. One, we got an office. <laughs> 
office warehouse. Literally my dream to, to have this. Literally Christian's dream. It's a it's a warehouse and an office. He's been asking for this for a long time, and I'm like, no, no. And then we finally went to go see it because he said, let's just go check it out. You can't say no without checking it out. And then we went, and I was like, oh. This is kind of Dude, cool. it's so cool. Okay, we got the office warehouse. So it's two floors of office space, first floor and then the second floor. And in the back, it's a massive warehouse where, where I can park my cars and get to work on my cars. I want to get a lift in there. We're going to go there right now. I want to show you guys so you can see it. This has like been the highlight of, of the last like few months is getting this warehouse. Our storage unit was jam-packed. Literally. With crap. The size of a garage, jam-packed to the top. The like, size of a three-car garage. We were like, let's get a storage unit, just hold this stuff while we're moving. We're gonna sell stuff, like get rid of it so that we're not paying for storage. We paid for storage for what, like two years? Two years. Like what a waste. Until we got out of it, because now we're also in the second announcement is we're in our new house. Yeah. So the new house, the storage unit used to be beside our old house. We moved to the new house. So we got out of the storage unit because we were leaving the area. And then we're moving to the new house. We got out of the storage unit. The office, the warehouse just ended up being eight minutes from where the new house is. Oh, very confusing. So now we... As I was saying, we got the, the office is only eight minutes away yeah. from the new house. So now the office and the new house is now relatively close to each other. We can go back and forth. New house is a dream come true. I'll show you guys that after in a little bit too, after I show you the, the warehouse. But now that we have the warehouse, we're going to be building it out. Kristen's doing a crap ton of stuff on her channel that we're going to be, you know, I'm, I'm, you might catch me in there, a couple cameos, you know, helping <laughs> renovate some stuff. I might have to write a list of things that you need to learn how to do so that you can help me. Yeah, you just tell me what I need to learn any, I can learn anything. Things that I'm like, I know if I try and do it, you're just gonna come in and go, no, 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 that's too dangerous. I need to do it. You think? Yeah, I have a feeling. Well, yeah, if you start trying to operate like a hacksaw and stuff like that, then we're gonna have problems. Yeah. But yeah, so we're gonna be renovating the office and making it look dope. Now I have the Hellcat, which is just fully built, absolute monster. It's over there. It, she's hanging out there. The Evo, my Mitsubishi Evo 8, which everybody's been commenting on everything, saying, what happened to you? What is this guy doing? Oh, shit! So the Evo. Okay, you, you have to see what it looks like now. You're not gonna see it now because it's not at the, at the warehouse, it's being built. But the Evo is being built right now. I, I'm doing everything. Name anything that could be possibly done to the build that's happening. Um, the Hellcat, you guys haven't seen the Hellcat or heard the Hellcat really? or been in the Hellcat. When was the last time we would have seen it? Oh man, I don't even know. Really? A minute, a minute and a half. Like when it was gray? No, nah, I can't remember. I Maybe. don't know, I don't even know if they've ever seen it. But the Hellcat, made a thousand wheel horsepower over a thousand to the crank the car is insane i'm gonna i'm gonna say it out loud and i'm gonna scream it. it's too scary the hellcat made a thousand horsepower to the wheel the hellcat is an absolute monster right now anybody on the street can catch these hands no <laughs> No, no, no. I've double, triple, quadruple gapped all the way to Gapplebee's, McLaren 720S's, Ferrari 480p Pistas, a Huracans, Aventadors. You name the vehicle, it's gotten the Gapplebee's full menu. <laughs> the, the Gapplebee's. I know, I know. It's just like, like, what did you make that up? When you when you gap somebody and you race somebody and you put a gap on them, you went to Applebee's. They say no, no, not no, not Applebee's, Gapplebee's. Why? Because it rhymes. Right, because you say you got gapped. No, no, no. We, we took you. You went. You just went on a, a, a full course meal date with me to Gapplebee's. The Evo's being built now. I bought the car in 2017. We did a lot of stuff. Me and West Coast Customs did a lot of like stuff aesthetically that I wanted to do. You know, like I still haven't done the rest of it. I have the Voltex front bumper, the Voltex side skirts that I'm gonna be putting on, the new JDM rear that I have. We put on the APR, the, the APR boiler that I've been ha I had in the house for so long. Carbon fiber fenders we did, the carbon fiber hood we did, which looks so smooth on the car. When you guys see the car, you're gonna go. This is oh. all a different language to me. Let me know, we'll actually let Christian know if you need even know what any of that is. They know what all of it is. They, they know. Really? They've been waiting for me to say it out loud. They've been waiting. <laughs> Evo, we're doing everything under the moon. You know, injectors, cams, E85, bigger turbo setup, you know, from out, ETS from out intercooler, cold air intake, after? tile blow off valve, you know, turbo back. The, the car is gonna be insane. I thought it was already really good. No, it, it needs help. It's nice. The car's nice, don't get me wrong. And now at this point, right, what, I, what I'm more interested in now is like, I wanna buy another Evo. I wanna get an Evo 9, because I have the 8. I wanna buy a 9. And I, why are you looking at me like that? 
I didn't think you saw me. Oh no, I saw you. She's just looking at me like this. We're buying a what? <laughs> Not you. You don't have to buy it. I'm gonna buy it. An oh. Evo 9. I want to buy an Evo 9 and keep it stock. Really clean, nice, low miles, and just baby the hell out of it. Because I bought the Evo 8 in 2017 or 18. I can't remember exactly what the year was. But I bought it for 17,000. You can't get those cars in that condition for under 30k now. They're going for 30,000. Up and down, left, right, up and down, up, down, like, side, left, side. Like literally if you type in that car. Yeah, Evo 8's nice, but I'm not talking about beaten up though. I mean like oh, pristine. Like, like nice my, my Evo 8 is like. Yeah. Yeah, the guy you got it off of was like old and didn't ever drive it. Just babied it. Yeah. Babied the car. So the Evo 9, you know, is is uh, the last, re uh, not the last release because they had the 10s, but like uh, of that um, body style was the last release. And the Evo 9 are going for a smack ton right now. Low mile Evo 9s, they're going for 30 to 40K. Wow. So I want to do that also because now I'm looking at my car being like, okay, this thing's going to be a full blown track car. Yeah, but right? we also have to like live in the present and be like, oh, right. you know, this is nice and you enjoy what you have. Right. But that car's gonna be nuts. <laughs> Right. The Evo I want to like conservatively make, you know, because the Hellcat is just an absolute monster and that car is not even fun to drive anymore. A thousand wheel horsepower in a car that's that torquey is just not really the most enjoyable car to like daily drive or street drive. So like I drive it here and there, I'll take it out and like go have some fun, yeah, like, go to car meets. Yeah, like going around turns in that, it's not fun. Well, no, that that car, any any of those cars that are like the Titanic are not fun yeah, to drive. Yeah, it's a big, big car. But the Hellcat, you know, I, I don't need to make another thousand horsepower on another car, especially like an Evo that's really light yeah, and small no. so that car like I want to conservatively make like maybe 600 wheel 650 wheel and even then that's, that's extremely really fast, fast for the car yeah but, but I have friends that make you know thousand plus wheel horsepower in their Evos yeah, and Civics and stuff and that and you can well, I want to do it too no <laughs> I want to do it too that's called peer pressure <laughs> Oh, we're about to hit a bird and oh almost hit a bird. My. Flew what are they doing? Fly so close to the, to the freaking car. <laughs> Willing to sacrifice it all. But yeah, we're almost at the office. When we get there, we'll link up again. And we're here. I just look like I'm in heaven. Look. <gasps> Ladies and gentlemen, we're here. So this right here. This. Well, this is yeah, this isn't, this isn't even all of it, but this is like front entrance, you come in, this is the first floor of office space here. Kristen's gonna do, do give you the majority of the rundown for this because she has like all these crazy ideas for stuff that she wants to do in the office, like. These are samples of the new floor. Oh, okay. fresh, light, beautiful. So Kristen wanted to do like wood flooring, so we're gonna like tear this carpet out. Oh, it looks out. a little bit more gray in here. No, no, it's gonna be nice. Don't, don't, don't psych yourself out. We already were. Yeah, it's at the house, so we can't go back now. We have seven okay, pallets of wood. It's gonna be nice. So this is gonna be what the new color is gonna be for the floor and the wood. We're, we're gonna be ripping, ripping this out. The carpet, taking out these rubber baseboards, like they're literally rubber. We're gonna redo all of that. I can teach you how to do it. It's gonna be so much fun. I know how to pull carpet out. Well, whatever. I've pulled, I've lifted and rolled rugs out. Oh, before. perfect. You can be my guy then. Yeah, it could be your guy. <laughs> That's basically like the entrance there. Kristen wants to do a little coffee bar. And uh, what else did you want to do in that corner? What, over here? Yeah. It's going to be like the coffee bar area. This is going to be the whole entrance thing. So like obviously won't look like this. And then this is going to be more like lounge, cool, like neon sign, loungy furniture, rug, lighting, all the things. <laughs> what was that? She said, all the things. All so I'll link Kristen's channel in the description down below. Make sure you guys subscribe because she's going to be doing the majority of that stuff on her channel. Obviously, you know, we're not a renovation DIY channel, so you're probably not going to see that here. Here. <laughs> but if you subscribe to Kristen's channel, you'll probably see me cameoing and a lot of that stuff. So we're going to be doing that on her channel. Okay, but now we're going into the main, the eye of the storm. So this right here is the stairwell that goes into the second floor of the office space. Like I said, there's the first floor yeah. and then there's the second floor. So we'll take you guys up here really quickly. Hello, ma'am. This is like the actual office office area. Yes, this is where we're going to be like, doing. Work up here. Don't be distracted. And this was one of the bigger things that we had discussed over and over again was being able to separate. So sure. I know, like. <laughs> it's the little oompa loompa. We would talked about this a lot about wanting to separate work at work from home because we just never would leave the house. We would sit there and work, film, edit. Every other aspect of what we're doing business wise would be done in the home, and it was just frustrating and stressful and it felt like. It doesn't make you feel good. You don't feel like you have routine because you have nowhere to go. So you wake up and you literally walk into the room next to you and you start working. by your lights and your cameras and it's just like... Yeah, oh. yeah. And then you're just like, all right. And then also being able to separate weekdays from weekends. You know what's crazy? Totally. Is that I lost the feeling of having a weekend. Like, I remember when I was younger, you used to crave like, you know, Friday night and then having Saturday, Sunday. It just has never, it hasn't been like that for me for years. And I'm sure you can say the same well, of like the weekends. Kind of just stressing like... me out a little bit now because people want to hang out on the weekend and like do things with us. And I'm like, oh, I'm not done and I'm still working and... Yeah, 
So we had to get the office space to be able to be like, well, you know, we gotta clock in and clock out. Yeah, we should have a, we should have a clock in swipe like three. I'm gonna get it on Amazon Prime. So this is the upstairs. So right now we just have our, our desks here set up. We have Kristen's desk, my desk, so we can, you know, work and do stuff here. Kristen wanted to do a little kitchenette situation over here. So we're gonna, you know, have a mini fridge and all this stuff over here again. We're, we're gonna get into that. So much to do. It's a little overwhelming. Like, as you guys can see, like, we're still like, moving oh, in. Like, we're not, we haven't started to do anything yet. We've just no. been bringing stuff in. Yeah. But then there's, you know, obviously the floor to ceiling windows that whole area is going to be free game so we might be able to do like a big table there and whatnot for yeah. just like you know hangouts That's and whatever Cool. But this nook here! Wait a second! Oh, wait, we can't even announce it in this one? No, no, you can announce it. I just don't want you showing this. We have to move something up really quickly, guys. <laughs> Small intermission here. So, in the upstairs of the office, and we've been planning this for a while, so this has been in the works. There was this nook right here. And having got the office and now wanting to be able to have a place to come to work, we have like one major reason to be here, which. Have you announced this yet at all anywhere? I have. You have announced it. You did announce it. I did. And I didn't, so you guys don't know this. But you know our Chris and Chris channel, obviously, and everyone's all always been commenting saying like why are you guys uploading on there you guys have to upload more Chris and Chris and I was like crap there's just too much going on and <laughs> she's got too much going on and it's so hard to make so much content across like nine platforms and I'm like okay we still need to give them Chris and Chris but how can we do it so it's not overwhelming for you and for me and adding a ton more workload to our schedule right now so what we're doing is with Chris and Chris is gonna now become our podcast so we're starting a Chris and Chris podcast and that YouTube channel is now gonna be a podcast you wanna show them around yeah so this corner. I'm not the design expert here or anything. Oh. So this corner here yeah. is gonna, don't zoom in, <laughs> don't get the down angle, go straight to the ground. Anyway, I like thought that's I what saying, you wanted. This here. corner. This is what they want. Kristen is gonna be doing, imagine doing an entire, just, <laughs> just the people. Just have, your head is cut you, off. When you really wanna just showcase your features. So this corner here is gonna be the podcast nook. <laughs> oh my god. Kristen, again, is gonna be doing the majority of this design stuff here. She pulled a piece of this corner that you guys can't see it because we haven't really announced that part of the podcast yet so we had to pull that out but basically we're gonna set this nook up we're gonna paint we're gonna do all this stuff we're gonna set this little setup for us to have our chris and chris podcast and we're gonna, you know sitting here little planters maybe a, a monkey can be hanging from up there flying around oh, that's what we need i know yeah we need a chimpanzee in our podcast maybe we should create a shelf and then just put Stu and henry like in their bag no no no, no, no. Oh, we want to have cats screaming for 45 minutes straight <laughs> Oh, they would just yeah. be on display. Yeah, but yeah, the Chris and Chris podcast. So that's gonna be launching extremely soon. We obviously are gonna do this first. We have to get the set down first for the podcast. But if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the Chris and Chris YouTube channel because that is going to be Transformers Robots in Disguise into a podcast. We'll have it linked down below. Yeah, we'll have it linked down below. Also, so you just go down below in the description. You can just click that and subscribe to the podcast. I hope you guys are just as excited for the podcast as we are because we do a like whole lot of talking. Yeah, yeah, we talk a lot. Would you probably notice Christian's <laughs> quite the talker? Well, you're quite the talker. Talker. Listen to this whole video. It's I barely all talk. Talking. Anyways, he's a talker. We talk a lot. We're always like, wow, we should really record that. But you know, you never yeah. think about that in the moment. So we'll sit down and have our talks. And we have so many things happening weekly that we just end up talking about. And yeah. we're like, this would be funny to have all of us sit down for a podcast and like talk about stuff. So we're gonna be doing that. That's gonna be happening weekly. We should so the do a whole episode about moving with your significant other. Yeah, yeah, that's that's gonna be an episode, absolutely. Me and Kristen literally moved our storage unit and our entire house. Just us two moving like 500 pound furnitures. And we still love each other. So that's all. And we matters. still love each other. I don't know what you're saying over there, but it's not I was nice. saying I love you. Oh, okay. Yeah, and moving into my favorite and the most important part of this whole thing, right? Or you don't think so? Obviously the office is probably more important. Work is more important. What am yeah. I saying? Did yeah. I just get too excited? But here we're moving into the highlight of this office and why I was so excited to get in here and this is my excuse to buy more cars and, and get uh, to work, work on more cars. Right, it's not, but that's... No. no. So this is the rest of it. You think that's gonna get copyright claimed? No, why would that happen? Because that's my original piece. What? <laughs> yeah, before we like go down there and take a walk, guys, like this is a storage unit. This was storage unit. A lot of the stuff that's in here yeah, we was from- Yeah, we've seen this stuff in two years. Yeah, it was from storage unit. So like there's a lot of crap in here that's gonna be moving. Things are gonna- We're gonna be Facebook Marketplace sellers now, aren't we? Facebook Marketplace sellers. We're gonna donate a bunch of stuff. We've been donating like crazy. Some of the stuff we've been- what? We like had a garage sale in here. What are you talking about, lady? Tell me if you'd want to do that. It'd be fun. Have a garage sale in here? Oh, I want to have a garage sale so bad. It's going to be more sold out than the Travis Scott concert, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh my gosh. 
yeah, there's a ton of stuff in here that we've been donating a ton of stuff. When we were moving, we donated like some pretty expensive stuff that the people at like all the places we were donating were looking at us like, you know, oh, you know that this vacuum's like six hundred dollars, right? But we're like, and we we're just like donating. Like we need to get rid of it. Yeah, I and still like, feel like this is half hoarding. Like we need to like get rid of some stuff. Yeah, and and honestly, like donating for us, we're not like looking to nickel and dime all of our used stuff. We know that there's people out there that could probably use it more than we can. Yeah, like, I love donating. And we just always donate like all of our stuff that we're not using or you know stuff that we have sitting around that's not but being. But we didn't get to donate. <laughs> okay, but this is but don't put me on blast. Okay, well, that's the last piece of my first ever couch that I ever bought for myself. So and I'm not a, I'm not a hoarder, but it's just. Se should we call that sentimental or it's, hoarding? It's sentimental. Sentimental. It's, Sentimental. it's a corner. I won't get into it because I know it's upsetting. But. Yes, it's upsetting. But Kristen <laughs> tried to get me to get rid of the whole thing, and I'm just like sitting there, like that's the first couch that I ever bought myself with my own money for myself. And even if I could just get to keep a piece of it, you know, maybe in the future, like whatever, we cut off a piece of fabric, and I can just keep that somewhere I will and be turn like, it into this a is pillow for you. Well, I just want to. Well, yeah, I just want to show my kids something one day and be like, this was your father's couch. That's not back staying in here until we have kids. Are you kidding me? I don't know, what do you guys think? <laughs> so obviously we got the carts here that need to get used. Gotta get back on the track, hey, cause I miss it, sweet lord baby Jesus. And for everybody wondering where she's at. Oh, oh my God. You did not just say what are those to those. I'm deceased. <laughs> you already know that you can't be making a thousand wheel and not running the Mickeys. <laughs> you, this is no traction. There's there's nowhere to, you're just spinning up until sixth gear, okay? But this is the bit, oh my God, she just. We should take it for a drive um, probably tomorrow, huh? Oh yeah, like Sunday morning, we'll go for like a little Sunday drive. Break some necks. <laughs> Give some people the full menu to Gapplebee's. Don't do it. No. Okay, all right. But yeah, I don't know when the last time you guys saw the Hellcat, but like this thing is completely, completely. Oh, sweet Lord, baby Jesus. Where is he? She is so smooth, horrible to drive, but the Gapplebee's. That sucks that it's not nice to drive though, if you're the one driving it. No, but I enjoy driving it for different reasons. Like obviously yeah. some people enjoy driving a car because it's, it's super. Like no, driving. it's it's not a comfortable ride where you're like, oh my god, it feels like I'm. For a ride, I wouldn't choose it, but. Well, we should go to a meet or something. Yeah, yeah. We'll go to a meet. Yeah, <laughs> we. <laughs> yeah, we. Me and you. Okay. Okay. So that's where that's been, and obviously Evo parts out the wazoo. We have the Cyber Street bumper that's got to go on the Voltex skirts that have to go on the Evo. That's all happening. My old carbon trunk that I'm, you know, because I don't want to run the wing like the, you know, the APR. That APR wing is is pretty excessive. Too much. Yeah. It's good for the track. It's good for the downforce, but not. On on the street, I mean, you just like get, it, yeah. So I have that, you know, just in case I want to swapple dopple. The new JDM rear that I need to get painted or wrapped. You know, then obviously I have like extra spare tires, da -da -da, my tool set, whatever. We have a couch here that, what are we doing with it? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. But yeah, this is, this is the, uh, this is our work in progress. This is it. And the Evo is usually parked right here. So the Evo is usually parked right here. But as you can see, like, you can park probably eight, I would say eight, nine, maybe 10 if you like really cram, you know? So I can ha I can own up to 10 cars now. No, no, that's not what it means. That's what that means exactly. All right guys, well I'm back at the house right now. Thank you for coming along with us today. As you can see, I'm in the gaming room. <laughs> okay, just finished putting it together. We have all the lighting, everything still, this is coming together too, but God dang. This actually looks really good, huh? This should be the new setup right here. Look at that. This is gonna be the new setup. Oh my God, yeah. But guys, don't miss any of my gaming videos. I've been uploading on Del Greasy, my gaming channel, okay? We're, we're popping out. Been playing COD, been playing Valorant, been playing Minecraft, been playing just everything. Make sure you subscribe to that channel. The link is in the description down below. Probably gonna do a giveaway for people that subscribe to that channel. I'll let you guys know this week what we're gonna do, but you gotta subscribe to the gaming channel because we're, we're running both, baby. We're popping off. Main channel, gaming channel, we're popping off all the channels. We're popping it off, we're popping off. Take a shot every time I said pop off, pop off, pop off, pop off, pop off. But yeah, guys, if you're happy to have me back, make sure to smash the thumbs up button down below or else that's gonna make me feel really bad. Watch this video get two likes. Ah! Just delete everything. Just delete it all. But yeah, make sure you guys smash the thumbs up button. Make sure you subscribe, turn my notifications on. Don't miss it. We're back. We're rolling. We're rocking. And be here for the next video. Love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.